Here. She's a member of parliament for Kipipiri. We also have with us politician Isaac Moura and also member of parliament for Dadab. This is Farah Malim. Uh, Richard Onyonka is an Osho until now, 7 o'clock. He promised to be here, but he's warm to doing that sometimes, really, you know, uh, stunning us up. But uh, yeah, congratulations to him. I think we shall give him a medal for that. Right, we continue pace with the conversation. Uh, so you want to look at the, today's editorial cartoons. Uh, this is regarding the the vetting that was happening yesterday or currently so far. Vet in nominees, day one. And uh, this is what Victor Ndulo has drawn in the Daily Nation today. If you may see that, we can see the chair of this committee. That is a committee of appointment uh, who is chairing, of course, the entire process right now. But who's looming larger there? If you may look at that, uh, you can flip over to page 16 of the Daily Nation. Uh, gentlemen and lady there so that you can also decipher that with me and my director just may pick up that so that uh, we can see it together and so far uh, we're looking at yesterday's uh, vetting right eye popping figures were thrown about in terms of uh, net worth and people were saying wow this is the hustler millionaires Isaac Moura well yes I think this is candid they did not uh, pretend that they don't have the money. And this is because of the Public uh, Ethics Act. Um, because you have to... You have declare to, your wealth. You have to declare your wealth as you start your journey uh, to serve the, the public. Mm -hmm. And uh, obviously, uh, personally, uh, uh, let us not pretend. People of uh, Modaba de Calibre, Mm -hmm. uh, these are people who have been in government uh, for a very long time. Yeah. Musali Mudavad was vice president in 2002. Mm -hmm. That is uh, 20 years ago. Yes. So he cannot just be somebody who, is, who doesn't have means. And uh, I'm very proud uh, of their declaration, including Alice Wahome and, and all of the others, uh, even in Duale. So personally, I don't see any problem with this. Mm -hmm. It should even be encouraged so that people openly say how much they are worth. Uh, yeah, but uh, it looks like a lot of money, but you'll find a lot of it is in land. Right. See, land is, um, I'm not trying to, I don't want to be misquoted, because I know people have a tendency of doing so, but uh, land is appreciated with time, so it could have been less valuable by the time somebody acquired it. Yeah. Okay. Looking at that editorial cartoon, you can see we have uh, the chair of a committee who's being babysat. Right, uh, he's actually on the lap of uh, the president as it is right now. What do you decipher? Sure. Well, 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 well. <laughs> <laughs> and he's the one who's actually having the list here. So, uh, he's the chair of a committee, just uh, you know, a, a pawn in this uh, this game. So he's, he's being controlled. Uh, not really. You know, our constitution has uh, brought about this vetting about. Uh, seeking the suitability of the people who are going to hold these very high offices. And uh, as per the constitution, the rules, the standing orders. But you can talk about the composition of this committee as well. People are saying it is highly uh, skewed to in, in favor of Kenya Kwanzaa. Mm -hmm. but, so uh, where do we, do we expect? Uh, but uh, we see even our very own brother here is a member. You are a member of this appointment committee? No, 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 he's not. Where is he? But you see, Jeanette is a member, Mishi Boko is a member, it's a composition. And ideally, in Parliament, you can never have uh, one, uh, one, one, one side. You always have to put everyone on the table. But going by the issue of the money, uh, probably I was with you in the previous uh, mm -hmm. Parliament when I used to attend your session, do I call them session here in the morning? Oh, yeah. and, On the because, other side of the tracks, yes. uh, and because I was fresh from the bank as a just a teller, yeah, yeah. definitely I couldn't even have seen a million. But uh, you don't expect me to be so ignorant to work for five years in parliament, five years in Yala, mm -hmm. and remain with the 10,000 shillings in my pocket. Mm -hmm. Because you are, if you are a leader and you want to grow your people, you want to grow yourself also. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I, it's about me to find my ways of transacting I go to the bank, I get a loan, I do this apartment, because I cannot also grow my people if I'm not growing myself. Mm. In fact, it is so dangerous mm. for people to elect someone who is not growing, who is stagnant and remaining on the same position mm. in the name of we are together. Mm. You must grow so that you grow the others. So mm -hmm. time and again, people have transacted 
in the bank, in business, in land, as Honorable Maura have said. But I see the speaker, Honorable mm. Wetagula, as a very experienced uh, speaker in terms of years of his work. And I don't think uh, that he's just controlled. However, ministers or a cabinet, as a president, you choose the people who believe in your vision because you can have someone who is very, very uh, uh, bright, aggressive, bright, qualified, mm -hmm. but he doesn't believe in your uh, manifesto. Yes. He will definitely not deliver mm. because you're always cross. So by virtue of that many of these uh, appointees are from uh, Kenya Kwanza doesn't mean now a Tagula is reading <laughs> the paper or the note that is provided here. And you know the cartoons. Uh, yeah, you've been given more Kenya there. <laughs> Yeah, the, the so, Mokenya. <laughs> you know, Dibal. Yes. I, I, I sometimes it's good to allow democracy to right. work. Mm -hmm. We lost the elections. They have the numbers. We lost the speaker. We lost the the deputy speaker. <laughs> We, we, we will have to allow them to have their way. You know what I mean? Yeah. We, we can't make a lot of noise. A president, in politics, everybody is at liberty to do. A president has the liberty to pardon mm -hmm. somebody who has been sentenced to death on a treason. Now, if we, if we begin debating why is he pardoning this guy, he has the authority, he has that right of, he even has the clemency, you know what I mean? Mm. The power of clemency. So, so I, I remember uh, uh, Richard Nixon mm -hmm. was implicated in the Watergate saga. Mm -hmm. the, all of you are young to, to remember that, but I remember it myself mm -hmm. very well. And, uh, and uh, you know, he appointed Gerald Ford. By the way, he wanted to appoint Spiro Agnew, who was his vice president, mm -hmm. as the man to take over from him. Then Spiro got into another sc scandal. <laughs> because Spiro got into another scandal, he went and picked up Gerald Ford from the House of Representatives. You understand my point? Yeah. These are the people who have a two-year term. You know, in the U.S., mm. it's two years, two years. And maybe the president, initially the vice president, and immediately, yeah, of course, he had to assume the presidency. And the first, the first order, the first executive order, was to pardon Nixon. You can't question, you know, some of these things. Let me be honest with you. So when you are in government, run the government. When you're not in government, allow those ones who are in government to write. You know what I mean? <laughs> Sit back, take stock of everything they're doing, and then use it for campaigns later on. You know what I mean? <laughs> so you give them space? Of course, give them space. You don't need to no, have checks and no, balances and no. tell them. Uh, no, yeah. no, no. What checks and balances? They're, they're feet Appointments on the fire. of his own cabinet? The people who are going to work with him, he can bring me his girlfriend, he can bring his, his maid in there, he can bring God knows his uh, butler there. I, I don't give a damn. Let, let's just sit back <laughs> and wait and see how this government performs. It's his business, my friend. He has that power to do it. And he has the numbers in parliament. So why do you have to keep on making noise ourselves out there? You, you understand my point? <laughs> we allow him to run his place and take stock, take stock, sit back, be quiet. And then later on, come up and say that, look, this is how this guy, man has run this country for the last five years. So you better change him now. I offer myself with these alternatives. You, you, you get my point? Yes. You, you don't have to be... They say the man who brought about the emancipation in the States was none other than the Camelot. Camelot was J.F. Kennedy, John F. Kennedy. Mm -hmm. the, the first Irish president they had in that country. He took up his brother... Bobby Kennedy, 33 years old, mm -hmm. as the Attorney General. Mm -hmm. And when he was asked, he said he's the best for the job. He took his brother-in-law, you know, the Schlesingers, the, the, the Shrivas, mm -hmm. you know, the Shriva, in the, in the, in married to his own sister. Mm -hmm. I mean, all those guys were his friends. Either his comrades in Harvard, you know what I mean? Or, or basically people he's out there, some of them married to his own. So, but that is the cabinet, his cabinet. You don't choose a cabinet for somebody. If this man wants to, to bring anybody he wants to bring, that's his business. Let him bring them. And he has the numbers in the, in the, in the floor of the house. Unless, of course, there's an um, overriding big issue like this person was involved in a treason one time and was convicted. Only then is when we can say, hey, this is, this is a, little, a little bit. And the docket is being given is a sensitive docket. Then you can say no. Mm -hmm. But, but uh, for now, allow Ruto to run his government.
we lost ourselves. We are in the opposition. We should perform <laughs> our role very well. We take stock and come back later on and tell the people of Kenya these are the things that he has done wrong. Whether he's going to pick up a hustler to run the hustler fund. You get my point? Yeah. Whether well, he's going to pick up somebody who is, who is roasting maize cops in the, in, the, in, 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 in the streets of Nairobi to become the minister who is going to run the Hustler Fund, or he's going to pick up a, an Oxford graduate, Cambridge, Harvard, Yale, Princeton, God knows who, who is a brilliant with a PhD. It's his business. You want right. to run this place? But I want you to, to look at this editorial cartoon that we have also on screen. If my director may just put it in full, because uh, as you say, can Raila also wait for that five good years? It seems to be preparing there. He's in gloves right now. We see it's the process really come out. Yeah, this, this is it. And it says here, if you can look at it, uh, I think it's over there. Warm up and great ready to reclaim your victory. I hope it's not another hot air. We can see that particular picture. <laughs> it's not another hot air. If you can this see. is on which, which newspaper? Uh, if you could just put it on. I, I don't think you have a, the copy of the People Daily. It's in the People Daily. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but there you have it. So you have the one Jiko saying, I hope it's another... It's not, oh, he's, yes. he's, he's, he's... And it's warming up uh, and getting ready to reclaim <laughs> his uh, rightful position as the opposition leader right now. Look, so you say this is misplaced according to Ryan Dinger? Completely misplaced. If I were him, I would have, after 2007, he ran very well mm -hmm. and basically won the elections and was rigged out. Uh, if I were him, I would have allowed somebody else to do it in 2013. Mm -hmm. Because... If, they, if a system which is in place they decided now will never allow you to take over this thing for whatever reasons, and they've been able to get away with it once, even if you get 80%, they'll still get away with it and stop you from going for that thing. Mm. So this is the, as far as I'm concerned, this is the fairest election I've seen in this country. The most free and fair elections I've seen. To the extent whereby we could have lost them 10, 15 in every polling station in Central Province and Rift Valley, and that could account to about 300,000, that's strong possibilities there. <laughs> but who's to blame for it? <clears throat> who's to be blamed for it? <clears throat> the people who have pocketed the money for the, for the agents and never sent our agents there, or the people who had the agents and never... Look, I was... So, so if you were to sit down with Rilo Dinger, you, uh, as, as, I, I your personal, him, as your personal friend, very candid... Go back, go uh, back home as a statesman, yes. help mm -hmm. us now run these things... And let's have somebody else take over that mantle. So you're telling him... How if he's going to run again, then uh, he's going to confirm what some of us believed before, that uh, Raila has never been in the race to win an election as president. You get my point? Mm. Uh, yeah, it's something else. It's other things. And, uh, you know, just being there all the time, what else are you going for? Are you looking for money? Because there's a lot of money in running for elections, by the way, let me tell you, with big names. So Raila... Uh, has, Raila has, has the game really changed along the way? Uh, in terms of what we've seen before as Raila, you know, that Salwat opposition leader, uh, he'll come, he'll be holding the government, you know, uh, in check at the end of the day, uh, check and balances, you know, uh, castigating the government where they're not really performing. Uh, has that form of a uh, brand of politics changed in the country? The now we're issue-based. Um, uh, uh, no, 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 no. Every time, every time we picked up, by the way, Raila has never been picking up the narrative. The narratives was being picked by the people around him, and I was one of them. For example, Baba, while you were away, mm. you remember that? Yes. While you were away, this yeah. has happened, this has happened, and he came back. And I was there, I was a the chairman of the welcoming committee, <laughs> who welcomed him in there. What happened? We built up the case, we built up the case, sent the whole country into some kind of a crescendo. We were going to pick up the one million votes, what do you call the signatures? Mm -hmm. It took us four years to get one million signatures. Why? Something that we would have picked in three weeks. Why for? Maybe the idea was not to uh, put the country into, into, into uh, you know, to task and, and hold them accountable. Maybe the idea was to create this thing and then cash on it. Are you getting my point? Okay. You can, you can put these people into a corner and when Uhuru and Ruto have realized this is a done deal, what do we do? What can we do to offer you? And somebody can, you know what I mean? We've, we've been handling politics like... So, so he's been, we've been handling he, politics... It's been a cash cow. Been, <laughs> no, I, I know that's what you're trying to avoid. We've been, handling, we've been handling politics more or less like... A, I'll explain to you right now. Like a company. Like a company, yes. Yeah. You pick up a company, mm -hmm. um, which is down there, whose shares have gone plummeted, and then because you're a brilliant person, you turn it around. Mm -hmm. 
and then it becomes a, a, a very, you know, the share prices go up and everything goes up. But then you reach a certain stage, you know, it cannot go beyond that. So you sell it off mm -hmm. for a kill. So we do the same also in politics. You pick up an idea, it gets all the way up there, and then when it, you know, because there was that issue while you're away. And I can tell you a million different issues that happened during that. I was in the center of these things. I've, I've been in opposition for the longest. Nobody in this country has been as many years in opposition as I was there. Raila was part of Kanu one time when he created the NDP merger with Kanu. My friend, my own party leader was in Kanu. And everybody went back and forth here and there. The only person who stayed in the opposition, Ford Kenya, original Ford, Ford Kenya, Safina, you know what I mean? Progressively, and even when the whole country came together and said Kibaki Tosha, I was in Kenya People's Coalition pushing a child for the presidency. You know what I mean? And ended up. <laughs> That's well, why you didn't vote for Kibaki. Well, well, yeah. I didn't vote. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Yes, yes. It was for Nyachai. So it was for Nyachai. So yeah. The, the only time I voted for a nun, what do you call uh, Odinga? Yes. Uh, it was, it was that time because it was not on the ballot. Except when it was not on the ballot, you know? Mm -hmm. It was not on the ballot, none of them. I voted for his father in, the, in 1992. Mm. So I've been in opposition for the longest. Mm -hmm. You, you get my point. Yeah. I I could see crystal clear, so what, openly, what, what, what daylight. Hang on a minute. To, yeah. Hang on a minute. Daylight open. I could see that Ruto was winning, but I chose to stay out in the other side. <laughs> 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 I remember your article. And I you think, remember my article. I, I remember your article. You remember start. our own uh, yeah, things here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. And we had a spot with you on the show. We we were, we like, I told you, you're, you're, yes. you're such a hypocrite. Yes. But he actually, you yes. stood by what you say. Yes. You absolutely. said, yeah, you, I am supporting what William Bruto is doing. Yes. But still, I'm on the opposition. <laughs> absolutely. So, so basically, even now, even now, I support his policies. Yes. That does not mean that you're going to find me running to. Is it what do you call these days? They're no longer, no longer not. It's not too gay, but now it's the White House. It's what you call the State House. Mm. Now it's where Uhuru used to be. You know. Yeah. You'll never see Farah running up to there. Uh, to, to, because what, what do I need? As a member of parliament, what do you need from a president, if I may ask you? You, you, are, you, have, you have your good salary, you have your allowances. You get my point? And, and those of us who have been around like him and me and her and David and the rest of us, we, some of us maybe have invested 10,000, 20,000, 100,000 in land 30 years ago. You know how much it's worth today? Mm -hmm. I bought a piece of land in 1989 for 200,000 shillings. And it was worth 150 million shillings 30 years later. You get my point? Mm -hmm. Now, can you imagine how much it is? Now, anybody who has invested in those 10, 15, is a billionaire in one way or the other. Mm -hmm. you, you get my point? Yeah. So who, what do you need? I, I never went to go and pick a hand out from Moi because that's the man who had the maximum money to give to politicians. Mm -hmm. but, but I respected him as I'm saying. Mm -hmm. And it's only after he's gone that we realized a lot of things he did right because we couldn't do any better ourselves. Yeah. So what I'm trying to tell you basically is let's play politics by its own rules. Those in the opposition stay in the opposition for God's sake. But if government is doing a good job, say you're doing a good job and support the right, government. Right. Not for anything in return. You get my point? Yes. Nothing. Don't ask for anything in return. And, and, and keep on doing the good job you have to do. And then if you prepare yourself and uh, run for the presidency again, uh, given an opportunity, I think the best president for this country will be Farah Mali. But now that I can't get far of <laughs> <laughs> I have to set up for somebody else. Yeah. You know, if you're in politics yeah. and you don't think you can run this country better than anybody else, then you're doing you're in the wrong place. Yeah. You get me? I Thank like Muya when she talks the way she talks. Look at the progression she has had. Yes. From from Bank Teller to Iala to National Assembly now. Is this no, second time from, from Bank Teller to a woman rep? Yeah. Right, so yes. woman rep in uh, and yes. then Yala, yes. then Yala, then then back again in parliament. Then he come and slay also. Slaying yeah, some yeah, of our good uh, old friends. Yes, yes. <laughs> and then the next time she will be a vice a deputy president. God knows who knows what. In, indeed, indeed. Gechagua has been there for the shortest. Indeed. And he fought to become the deputy president. Yeah. You think he loves the the job of deputy president? Mm -hmm. No, he wants to become a president. <laughs> 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 so if you don't have that kind of fire in your belly, I'm telling you, then you are in the wrong place. Fantastic. So you, I, I want us just to orient our, our thoughts also on what you, you're talking about, looking at Raila, especially what is happening so, so far with the Parliamentary Service Commission and some of his committee. And uh, I'll come to you, Wanjiro, because uh, you can give it an understanding because I can see there is a looming fight also for the Yala seat. If we can also look at the stand, what he's saying. I can yeah. talk on that. Uh, this Salat and, uh, and Moi, a big fight in Kano over Yala position. Uh, how does it really work? Both Secretary General and the Chairman... Uh, Gideon, I, I actually, post. Is Kanu actually entitled to any seat anyway? Uh, <laughs> well, we, we, that is what we want Big to discuss question. here. Is it entitled to any seat? Why not? Uh, Ideally, we have nine seats. 
in nine, the, seats, nine seats. Nine yeah. seats. Go so on every, strength. Every country uh -huh. have uh, to bring nine members of parliament in Arusha or rather in East Africa, mm -hmm. but they go on strength. For they, instance, mm. we may have five. Yes. UDA or mm -hmm. Kenya Kwanza and four for the and rest. Four for Azimio. Okay. Azimio will look at its composition and maybe give Jubilee one. They may not even have a chance, I don't know. Maybe give Wiper one, mm -hmm. maybe ODM one. If they find it fit, that is according to them. We cannot really interact with their internal affairs. affairs. Mm -hmm. And uh, UDA will also look, maybe mm -hmm. they take the whole UDA or they give uh, the composition mm -hmm. others. Mm -hmm. So us is to it for the names mm -hmm. but definitely i have had big names others i cannot even mention here on tv the big names very 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 big names. To <laughs> at least we <laughs> at least because someone may come and say hey, you're jeopardizing and my chances you know i'm the co-chair of this process yes yes so as the chebukati of uh, yala <laughs> election i want to keep it cool uh. but uh, it will go on strength maybe Kanu have already negotiated uh, mm. with Raila, and maybe they know they'll have a slot that mm, I cannot mm, know. Mm, mm. But uh, for us, we just wait for the names. And ideally, mm. because I have seen members lobby me, even mm. very senior members of uh, previous parliament, mm -hmm. in how we shall make laws. You know, it's an election. Yes. You know, we campaign in parliament and get elected by parliamentarians. Mm. So since it's an election, it is not an appointment, it is not a nomination, mm. it's an election. Ideally and illegally, every slot should be matched with the two or three. Mm -hmm. That means if Kano will be awarded one slot, mm -hmm. they should bring three names. Mm -hmm. But I have seen members lobby that make rules that uh, and, and, and regulation that closes, but, uh, closes one to one person. Yes, to one person. One, person. So one, person. one member from Jubilee was saying, mm. <laughs> was telling me, mm. say that uh, we bring one name. No. But if they will have three. They, uh, they have one slot, they should bring three names because it's an That's election the rule. so ah. that we choose. We but, choose uh, okay. Because uh, the Yala Act says that uh, Parliament shall make the rules of how the process shall be. That's why it's different in every country. You can adjust here and there. Mm -hmm. But the legal way, the very open uh, way, it is an election. How can you go and elect one person? Mm. It's rubber stamp. Yeah. So if Jubilee will have one slot, we should ask for three names considering the gender composition mm. not forgetting that i'm oh, okay, a woman okay. so uh, i'll yeah, yeah. so advocate, <laughs> advocate for that advocate for that considering many other avenues mm. so this so is for uda one. you have three slots for kanu if you're uh, uh, proffering any you have three slots but okay. once we divide the if they have nine, three slots for uda for example as it, as they, everyone will let's see for uda they have those, those five slots yes they'll uh, bring uh, 15 uh, names they'll, they'll bring 15, 15 names, names. yes uh -huh. so Kenyans yes. have to choose yes Members of parliament have to choose. They have to choose. Yes. They will come so, and campaign uh, it, it, in parliament. Everybody okay. in parliament will vote. We did a very vigorous campaign, campaign. in ah. parliament. Yes, yes, yes. I was lobbying in fact, everywhere. Some people who are not supposed to win won. actually won. 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 Oh, really? Like, there is a girl called Jematia Jem Sargon. Mm. She was not necessarily one who was seen to be favored, mm. but she just came, talked to people, talked to people. She lobbied. And then eventually she was elected. Now she's a women rep for Baringo. Mm. You know, so it's a very open process. And also the people of the community of uh, uh, the speaker <laughs> but, here, uh, they uh, ended they, up with how many? Is it four? They, they, they Three. Had yeah. Three out of but nine. But ideally they yeah. had four. Yeah. They, they, they had four. No gender, they had four. Ideally, there was no gender composition. I almost missed from their side. From their side. Yeah. But now she yes, won because of the gender. Because of the gender. Because even if the woman will be number seven, uh -huh. and you don't have gender, yeah. they will go to that seventh. Uh, so the as an affirmative so, action. Yes. So because the treaty is clear, mm. you must bring gender. On, on a straight, on a straight run, we would have had four out of the five Man, coming from our side. Yeah. But let me tell you one thing. Why, 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 good why do people yeah. have a problem with that? Yes. Isn't that the integration of the country? No, no, no. It's not, it's not, it's, it's it's not we, are, we are talking about you, you, the idea can that, explain, that can people explain can vote independently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. It's, there's something, there's something which is going on out there. I've seen a number of tweets by other people mm -hmm. basically saying, oh, the Somalis, Somalis, and the rest of it. Look at uh, 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 the Biden, Joe Biden's government today. Mm. Out of the 10 top offices, eight of them are held by Jews. And yeah. Jews are only 2% of the population. Yeah, nobody talks about it. You, you get my point? It's true. Now, if we can integrate this country and we can have eight of them held by Kikuis, why would we say that Kikuis are holding this? You, you get my point? Yeah. 
if, if somebody is for God's sake for better, you know, because I'll tell you why. But you, you, uh, I'll tell you why. I'll yes. tell you why there are four of them there, mm. because they're in all the parties, mm. and in every party where they are, can you compete with Duale in UDA? <laughs> can you compete? Hang on a minute. Can you compete with Faramali in Wiper? No. Or Juneti. Or, or Juneti in ODM. ODM. So you get my point. Mm. Or, or, or Yusuf Hassan in Jubilee. Mm. And, and, the, and the fact of the matter is, our loyalty is total. Yes. You see, Juneti is in ODM, yeah. he will die there. Duale yeah. will die for, 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 for Ruto. <laughs> it's true. You know, I remember interviewing Duale a while back. Well, back and then he said, you know, so whatever we let, let, let me say what he said yeah. uh, because of loyalty. When you talk yes, about loyalty, you yes, say, yes, yes, if Ruto asks me to jump, he asks me to jump from KCC. the top of KCC to the yeah, to the yeah. bottom of yeah. the on the ground there. Yeah. I'll take a dive, uh, yeah, I'll take a dive, yeah. yeah? Uh. And he promises that I will not really break my leg, I'll, I'll, I'll take the dive for him, yeah. yeah. You see, and I said, he's been very loyal, extremely loyal. Actually, people told him, uh, very, very uh, powerful clergy from the religion told him, where we we talk Dini. Now you have, you've decided you're going to elevate Ruto to the position of God. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but then he remained his loyalty. So, so basically, <laughs> you see, basically, yeah. because of that loyalty, mm. that we don't know, we have, we have no half measures. Mm. You want to fight for somebody, mm. you fight for that person to death. Mm. But, but, but the man, what I wanted to say, yeah. you see, uh, Wanjiko Muhe is giving us a scenario where you have three, uh, three candidates is for one slot mm. and sometimes in this game of yala you hear people there okay they are they, we have five people for uda or kenya kwanza mm. then you hear there are five who are already preferred but because of the dynamics of lobbying mm. even those who are perceived to be preferred mm. are, are not guaranteed are not guaranteed yes. now what the people from uh, the community of uh, of speaker here did uh, they are very good at lobbying mm. You see the way they are positioned themselves in each and every political party. By the time they were to be four, it was like people didn't see it coming. So that's the beauty of looking for votes, you know. Uh, in fact, at some point, Wajiko Muya was being told, you are from the Kikuyu community, you only have one slot for Simon Bogwa. Mm. But she ended up being there. Mm. So I was really, personally, I was very, very moved mm -hmm. by the idea of persistence, you know. Somebody like Abdikadir Aden. Yes. Really, yes. at some point, I was in a meeting where he was dismissed and told, we cannot give you this one. Yeah. But eventually, he was elected. Mm. So, so Iyala elections, and I'm very happy that Wajiko is a co-chair, they give an opportunity for the possibility. You mm. know, they say, uh, you know, you, you know. If you look at, you don't know what is going to happen. Yes. But by pursuing that which you need to get, mm. you become a phenomenon. Mm. You know, like if people discover that you Absolutely. are this good. You know. Absolutely. So, so I think I think that, that's the idea. Like, uh, let, let let there be elections for Yala, but I would want to imagine Wanjiko kindly uh, also make sure that persons with disabilities have a slot out of mm. one of the nine, mm. because those groups are also left out. I mm. don't think we've done very well, even for ethnic minorities mm. this time round. Huh? Uh, you know, the small communities. So, if those kind of people also end up, uh, mm. by the way, for mm. for 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 for, for this uh, debate, uh, Farah, mm. on Abu Farah, mm. I don't believe the Somalia are, are any more marginalised. In my opinion, yes, <laughs> 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 marginalised. In fact, where, yes. where, where where the Somali community is headed, yeah. and uh, people sometimes are very mealy-mouth about it. Yes. I think in the next thirty years, mm -hmm. we'll have a, a Somali president exactly in this country. Yeah, and this yeah. yeah. uh, why, why, why do you think I have to wait for thirty years? Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. No, no, no. When you could say, what you say? Let me just put this. When you could call me, come to me, and and really told me with a very heavy heart. I can't give you my vote because of two things. Mm -hmm. One is because UDA has already settled on somebody and we all agree to support that person. Mm -hmm. Two, she's a lady like me. Mm -hmm. Listen to me carefully. Mm -hmm. Ordinarily, given my own heart, mm -hmm. I, would always, I, was, I would have voted for you. Mm -hmm. and, and you see, this is being frank, mm -hmm. being honest, but how did I win when you could love? Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. you ask herself, and that goes for. And you see, let me. This is Wanjiku. You're talking Wanjiku. The the metaphor of no, 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 this one. This lady. Okay. Now we're looking at. No, 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 uh, you know, I still, if my religion would allow me, I would have gone to his grave to go and pray for him. But I can't because mm. of, we, we have our own faith, which is different. You know what I mean? Mm, mm, mm. But, but then uh, 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 when I won the elections as deputy speaker in 2008, 
everybody assumed because Marende had only one margin, mm. one vote margin over Kaparo. Mm. I had 20. Everybody imagined the Muslims or the Somalis had changed and came to my side. Mm -hmm. That was not the case. Mm -hmm. That was not the case at all. Let me tell you the people who gave me votes, their votes. Kabando or Kabando. Mm -hmm. You get my point? Yeah. Uh, 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 Alex, who, who became later on the governor of uh, Laikipia. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, Muridi. Mm -hmm. Harun Mwau, who was, who was there. Everybody who gave me, 90% uh, of the people who gave me their votes were not Muslims and they were not Somalis. Mm -hmm. This time when I was there, if I tell you the number of UDA guys who came to me and even took a snapshot of their own and told me, look, I voted for you, mm. you'd, be, you'd be surprised. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, <laughs> there were many from Azimia who went the other side. <laughs> 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 who followed money. <laughs> I followed money. Yes. <laughs> I get my point. I get my point. And for our government. So, so the, 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 the president, he's telling you how Abdi Kadir was so persistent that he finally made up his mind to, give, to, uh, to vote for him. Mm. Now, that's what this country is about. That's what this country said. Let's not always try and, and box things into something. So and so has. I got more votes than Merenda even this time, you know, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the final thing. Mm. And, and you know what? All those votes I got them from UDA folks. And, and, and only two, only two, only two of them were from my community. And I know for sure those two. Only two of, of all only. them. You see what I mean? Mm. I mean, I mean, you got from I, UDA. I, I, I thought they were so united. Uh, no, 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 no. So, Our yeah. people are united to the party. You see, right now, UDA is victimizing some of them and telling them, you voted for Farah. But the reality of the is they never voted for me. They voted for the party. They voted for my, my able competitor, uh, Gladys Shulay, who won. They did not vote for me. But I got, I got even Kalenjin votes from UDA. You're talking about other people. I'm mm. talking about Kalenjin's who are in, the, in, in, in Parliament Thank you. on a UDF uh, Thank you. vote. So w w w w w let's try and, let's try and uh, uh, separate. The, you know, we have this lady right now. When I see Wanjiku, I don't see uh, uh, Kikuyu. I see an, an, a splendid Kenyan politician who mm. has a future. Mm. And I respect her for that. Mm. When I see Martha Karua, I see a colleague who was with me in the trenches all those years, somebody of, you know, utmost repute. Mm. And that's basically how this country should, should look at When you see Maura, and you see the kind of things Maura has gone through and what he has brought on forth, whether it's for the people with disability, whether it is for this country itself. And he has been always there, you know, to, to, to enrich our own, within, through his intellectual, what you call disposition, to enrich the ideas that he had to the rest of us. So let's see the country as that. Media is really a problem. The yes. biggest problem in the country right now is the media. <laughs> because they make up an assumption about something, and they are the ones who are dividing Kenyans. It's not politicians who are dividing Kenyans. Go to that parliament, and you will see real patriotic Kenyans there. It's the media that's dividing Kenyans. They take it from me. And media should desist from some of these things. Because they are the ones who are bringing narratives. Always. Somalis are taking over Kenya. Luyas are these. You know what I mean? It's, it's nonsense. Kikuyus are these. Kikuyus are Kikuyus. Are, they are the Kenyans. So we need the, the, media, the media to be reined in. And by the way, any reference to an ethnic community in the media in future, and by the way, let's bring up that piece of legislation, mm -hmm. should, should have the, the maximum penalty for that. You're not at liberty to put something on the headlines here and say, New Year's are this, we can are this. You can't. But you, you, you shouldn't do that. And you do that very often. All right. I think it's a, it's, it's a good contribution we should look into. But I, I, we don't really stand accused on that because we, we pick up on what you say on the ground. No. You go and it's the Mulembe Nation. It is Wajiko. But, but you know, you, least, you were the politicians least, who at least the created Bible, all these pockets. Bible, you, you give uh, credit to the Hasla Nation. It has really united the country. Uh, For the first time, tribe was not such a big issue uh, in this sure. election. Raila Odinga's running mate was Mother Karua, Akikuyu. Uh, you know, and so you can see like uh, the, all the, the country is united. united. We actually yes. have, uh, you know, we have many, for example, have many Kikuyu friends who are in Azimio, you know, mm -hmm. and, and, and they we differed completely. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, we were even victimized by our own government, you see. Mm -hmm. So I think for the first time, we've had conversations that are beyond tribe. All right, beyond tribe, beyond tribe. Beyond tribe, uh, beyond tribe but I want the to media you know, just, just a moment to come back to uh, Wanjiko. Mm -hmm. Because I think, had you executed your point of family? Because I wanted to ask you if maybe we can go back to even the, the appointment of... Uh, of oh, the, the, the elections of Yala uh, first, previously, yes. Uh, first, there is a point I didn't want us to lose mm. uh, because we have realized in this integration there is strategic position. Mm. We have realized some countries like Uganda, Tanzania, Rwanda, they master it so well. Mm. And so they do it so well. Mm. Kenya, 
every election they sweep the nine members they bring new who have no institutional memory, memory there is, is no continuity for instance the community is suffering because of remittance issue mm -hmm. you know we, we we operate particularly the court ESCJ, East mm -hmm. African Court of Justice, and uh, IALA, we operate on remittance from the countries. Mm -hmm. We cannot operate on uh, money from donor funding, budget, mm -hmm. and all that. Mm -hmm. So when you have very new members and they land there, mm -hmm. luckily as we were previous members, mm -hmm. about five of us or six of us, mm -hmm. so at least we had some political background. Mm -hmm. But we have really, really deliberated on that issue in the motion recently that we should bring back a member or two to IALA for continuity for purposes. Continuity, okay. Because we, there is this debate of... But isn't that uh, uh, subjected to, you know, uh, the election itself? It is subjected so to the it, election. It is that is about persuasing and uh, you can see how the community of Honorable Farah did very well. Okay. Smart. People can uh, copy-paste mm. how they do very well so mm. that they are even elected uh, four of them. Mm. So even the previous member who will possibly be appointed or the names will be shortlisted by the parties, mm. they should copy notes here and there and persuade and the members should also have that might say that we should try and bring a member institutional memory. Mm. Institutional memory. Mm. We have a very big issue in this region because we don't have the alternative funding other than remittance. So when you find a country like South Sudan mm. is broke for years, mm. it never remit any money, mm. year in, year out. They, are, they, they, they remain in the community. There are no penalties in spite of our treaty, speaking very well of countries which will not remit the sanctions and all that. But because it is a soft community where we are trying to build, we can't go that far to sanction a country for lack of remittance. A country like Burundi, which is struggling, in fact, one time, uh, the late Kibaki paid for Burundi about a year or so. So you find such big things which are paid for Burundi uh, the, the remittance. The remittance because they, they so on, are on a long basis. On a no, long no. basis. They just build them out the way we build KQ. We build them out. Build why, them out. why do we build them out? Why not? You know, a community why? is like why a family. Can I no, a community is like a family. Can in I this family, no, you need each other. Is really pulling, uh, you know, it's explain? not about a uh, refusal. It's about the ability. And you need this. And the community runs like a family. So if your sister is not able to walk mm. and there is danger or, or plenty ahead, you have to hold the hands. But without deliberating so much on that, okay. the main point I want to say is that continuity, mm. uh, we will be I'll explain. You when you explain the show. I'll explain yes, yes. Okay. But uh, the main point I didn't want to leave is that we need to bring some members back to Iala, like the way Rwanda, Uganda, and all other countries does. But our work as the committee, once Senate uh, bring the names, mm. is to put the rules, the regulations, set the date, the time frame in accordance to the treaty. On 17th of December, we should have, we shall have sent our members to Iala so that they when take up. It should happen once we put the rules, but I think in the month of November. Okay. And all countries are I, done already. I, I, I want to already finished. I wanted to ask you. It uh, says 90 days before the end of the term. So we normally see this part, as we can see also in the start there, Salat versus Moe. I think this is inter-party democracy, yes. so it is up to them to choose. But there have been questions on why we normally front family members in this particular positions to be, you know, elected. We had Uburu. In the Yala, we can see Oburu also in the center of controversy with the Public uh, Service Commission as it is Farah. Uh, and now, Yala, we saw Kalonzo Musioka's son as well was being fronted to join Yala. How then do we, how, how, when, when we talk about these lobbyings, and you are the member of, of, of parliament there, uh, how then do, are you sure haunt if you have a party leader? And you, you remember Wipa, you have ODM, uh, you have Oburu there, Raila is, is a party leader. Uh, aren't you feeling at some point, even if it's a secret uh, voting, I don't know how that will be revealed because you, <laughs> yeah, yeah, let, 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 let me don't, don't you find that it's a bit conflicting let, let, that Kalonzo yeah. has has proffered his son to join Iala and they are members of WIPA uh, or Oburu uh, is a member of ODM and the, 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 the brother is a, is, a, is, a, is a chairperson, is a, is a party leader. Where is inter-party democracy in this? Let, let, let me explain that because I was in the conversations of, of the 12th parliament to elect Oburu and uh, Kennedy uh, last time. Yes. 
uh, how did people reason? It was very interesting, by the way. Mm. Uh, it cuts both ways. One, of course, you were accused of nepotism, which is against the principles of uh, leadership and integrity, chapter, chapter 6. Eh? Mm -hmm. uh, but then, at the same time, uh, the bar, this is what politicians argued. If you remember, I'm, I'm sorry to say this, or rather, I don't, I don't need to apologize anyway. Majority of the people who became YELA members were our former colleagues mm. and also children or relatives of the party leaders. Indeed. So it becomes like a club of uh, the people who are in power. Why former colleagues? Because we know what it means to lose an election. We know what sacrifices me people make uh, to be in, 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 in leadership. So that, 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 that I can tell you without a doubt. Uh, you still see some few members who did not make it. Uh, in the last election, being elected. Like, there's a very good lady called Falhada, Iman Deko. I think that's a, my, my friend. I hope she can make it. Mm -hmm. But then, also, people are demonized for being relatives of uh, politicians. So, why would we, for example, I may not speak about Oburu, but why would we frustrate the ambitions of Kennedy Musioka to become a member of parliament simply because the father is? And remember also, by that time, Kaloso Musioka had even lost... Uh, he was nowhere. He was nowhere. Oh. So you want now to, to tell all those people, go away. So did, you, did he do it out of his own volition? Or you no, no, it is us that really is. He was nominated by Wiper, but it is us who voted for him. By the way, with a lot of... Months. Yeah, we, 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 he, he had, had the, the maximum votes. votes. He had the, yeah. the maximum votes. So for, for, for Gideon Moy and Nick Salat, we can argue, because I'm, I'm saying here, <laughs> the promise was for Nick Salat. So for Gideon, who did not make it for... For the, for, senator. for the senator mm. to come and take Nisra Lat's slot, that we leave it to Kanu. It doesn't look very good. Eh? Because for me, I was assuming that now Gideon is beyond wanting to go to a small seat like Kiala. But you see, it is democratic right. We can't say because he is a party leader, you will not be given a chance. So it's, 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 it really cuts both ways. Mm -hmm. Mm. And by the way, to warn Kenyans, mm. this Yala Manenos mm -hmm. is so serious. Mm. And the treaty even says that no business can transact in Yala if you don't have three members in a certain partner state. So that, that rule can paralyze the business. If you have the likes of the big names that I see being fronted, knowing very well that these people will not have time to remain in Yala mm. for several hours, because of many, 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 many surroundings, which I may not want to go to details. Interest. Engagements. But, uh, engagements. Uh, engagements. Engagements. Yeah. Business. They are caliber. Yeah. Because even uh, one member was arguing that Hona Boraila mm. should go to Yala. 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 But we he really have time. Because there is mm. business there to transact. Mm. So for me, when I have Kennedy, mm. Musioka there, mm. I am sure that Kennedy will be in the committee. Yes, throughout. And will be in Available. the assembly mm -hmm. because that is his main business. Mm. Mm. But some of these big names that we see being fronted mm. should really not take up the position just to, to certify their ego or be somewhere or make headlines. Because this is a serious business and mm. it should be treated as such. I can tell you, the number of times I missed Yala, I was either on a hospital bed or a very serious affair. Mm. But we never missed to be in Yala in the assembly, in the committee, because basically you not even operate. You can imagine a whole community not operating for lack of quorum. Yeah, okay, but, but I need to ask you, because you've not really answered on the, on the nepotism a uh -huh, bit of you as a court chair. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, yeah. uh -huh. Maybe I can say something in a minute. Yeah. Personally, I feel we shouldn't demonize someone because he's a brother of so-and-so and a sister of so-and-so. Why? As per the Constitution, everyone has his own right. So don't put my daughter to my own position. Honorable Buru is Honorable Buru as Oburu. Honorable Raira is Raira as Raira. So if Oburu present himself to members mm. and members are satisfied that they can elect him, let it's them an elect process. him. But then, which I know Farah can uh, deliberate it so well, as uh, his experience uh, uh, speaks for itself in terms of party politics and all that. Again, you know the parties in this country, how they operate. He already stated that parties are like companies. So if this is my party again, mm. and I have liberty to nominate this person, we may not have so much control as parliamentarian. Our control will come to this nominee. Mm. And we should evaluate this nominee fairly as himself, mm. not attached because we shall also infringe his rights if we say this is the daughter of so-and-so. Okay. Farah uh, before you take a short break, just uh, you need to clarify that. 
yeah, I, I, it's, it's a bit tricky. Let, let me tell you, it's a bit tricky. I mean, they are, I have been in parliament myself with two brothers. Uh, you remember one time, Norman Yaga mm-hmm. was, was, was in parliament. <laughs> yeah. and, and Joe was also. <laughs> he was elected. Uh, and, uh, and Tim, yeah, yeah, yeah. And team, he, he never made it, brother, isn't it? He made it. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Oh, is it? Ah, okay. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. TJ ah, and Moses. And then, by the way, there's a strong, there's a very strong mama mm. in Azimir that if we had allowed Manyoye to run for the governor, we would have, we would, we would have taken the governorship of uh, Nairobi. Mm. Mm. Because he's, he's, the man is just too popular on the ground. Mm. That's true. Uh, but because um, of other things, we basically to decided that uh, a guy that was going to run for it. Now, there are people who are there by their own rights. Mm. How do you tell a brilliant lawyer, advocate, who, with all the odds against him on a wheelchair, Mm. is one of the most popular members of parliament in this country mm. and you victimize him because there's an elder brother who's holding a position somewhere you can't mm. so that's why i told you uh, <laughs> john f kennedy appointed his younger brother bobby kennedy mm-hmm. as attorney general and when he was asked he said this is the best man i have for the job <laughs> you, you, you understand my point mm-hmm. so i don't see absolutely anything wrong with Oburu running for the Senate and winning running for the governor, mm. even if his brother is running for something else. What, running and, is different, but I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, when you're talking about the committees I'm and the appointments of I'm the coming committees. To that. I'm yeah. coming to that. I'm coming to that. Could you, could you take a short break then we, we circle with yes. that? Yes. Okay. So that you can, I can give you a breather. No problem. I top up your tea and uh, of course we continue the conversation. Let's We're watching Siasa Fiesta here on Morning Prime. When we circle back, of course, we continue with the. Uh, the parliamentary, of course, uh, committees and the appointments, and also looking at the bigger picture on the Yala, that also is forthcoming, and uh, it's bound also to spark a lot of stops.